Hey, good afternoon guys, Ron here, Precision Sales, doing a walk around of a nice little uh, mainsail here. This is for a Venture 23 Newport. And as I said, it's a, it's a head sail, and this is made with our Precision 300 series Dacron. Uh, this is a really good example of a sail. If you uh, get a quote from us and you're looking for Dacron sails, this is the 300 series as it's quoted. So complete sail, uh, we've got one reef point that comes included, Cunningham is in the quote, all the sliders to go up the luff, uh, four partial battens with reinforcements, uh, comes with a loose foot and the slider uh, on, the, uh, on the clue corner. And then the tack attachment as well, and comes with leech line and foot line. So a really well appointed sail, straight off the, uh, the quote there, you can go ahead and order that up and, uh, and this is what you get. So let's take a quick walk around and you can get a good idea of, of what we're looking at here. So we'll start down here at the clue. And uh, a couple things I want to point out. Uh, again, loose footed sail. So we've included a clue slug. Let me get this line out of the way. So you can get a good idea on how that. Now this is going to be the size, uh, obviously, of the, of the track that slides down your boom. So that kind of simulates what used to be uh, the bolt rope there. And I'll just kind of come out here and you can take a look at the reinforcements. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five layers of patching in this corner, nice teardrop design. Stitching's perfect on it. Uh, and then what we've got, uh, I'll show you this little piece of uh, batten, and it's been kind of sharpened at one end, and that is to help you get your battens in. And uh, as we walk up this uh, leech here, we'll show you that, but let's stop here at this uh, first reef point, and you'll notice the reef point is almost identical in size and, uh, and reinforcement strength as the uh, clue corner there. And then we've got the reef belt that goes across, reinforcing those reefs. Let's face it, if you're reefed down, it's because the wind's up and you need to make sure that you control that area of the sail. And so we'll just come up here, nice draft stripe, so it can help you trim your sail and make sure you have good shape there. And then uh, this is what that, uh, that little piece of fiberglass, the uh, batten, what, it, what it's for and what I'll, what I'll show you here is what you do is the batten that comes with it, it's going to slide in here. You're going to chase it with, uh, with this. And notice that there's Velcro on the top here. And there's Velcro on the top of the, uh, the pocket here as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to stick that little piece of uh, batten that's sharpened. The reason it's sharpened is there's a little pocket here. You're going to slide it in there. And this is going to slide in here and you're going to chase the batten with it. And you just poke it in there with this. And I'm doing it without the tool there, but it's much easier with the tool. And then you're going to leave this kind of following it. So that's how you're going to release it once you get your, uh, you get your batten uh, all in there. And if you want to take them out. So that's the way that works. And while we're here, we'll take a look at our batten pocket configuration. And notice that these batten pockets are sewn directly on top. So there's a bottom to the pocket and a top to the pocket. So that batten never actually touches the, uh, the sail itself. And then we've got the reinforcement at the end for the partials. It's really the way to do it, guys. Uh, if you're looking at another designer and they don't show you that sort of detail, uh, perhaps you should give us a call. Uh, well, that's the way we do things here. And so let's just scoot around back here and I'll show you what this Precision 300 series look like. Most often we're using the Challenge sail cloth, the high modulus uh, for these sails. Really nice cloth uh, made in North America. Nice close up of the stitching there. Really nice and clean. Perfect stitching. The triple zigzag. And then I'll just give you a nice little close up here of our uh, sliders and how we web those on. And notice uh, I had a comment once uh, a couple months ago of the sliders being uh, plastic or nylon. The reason we use those, uh, you can use stainless sliders However, they cause a lot of damage to your aluminum mast. So uh, we use them when we have to. We try to use these, uh, these nylon ones. They slide much easier. Very, very strong, guys. They're, they're not going to break on you. Unless, of course, you're you know, sailing at minus 20 or something. They get brittle. But um, 
They're uh, extremely strong, extremely robust, and of course uh, slide much better than the, the stainless. So stainless on aluminum, uh, aluminum loses. So we'll just keep walking down here. Brings us down to that first reef point coming down the luff. Nice uh, ring there to reef down on. And then this brings us to the tack corner and again, beautiful patching. Looks like one, two, three, four, five layers of patching there. And then the Cunningham and notice the, the reinforcements on the Cunningham as well. Really nicely done. This is just uh, the way we do things here, guys. That's a Precision 300 series. That's our kind of entry level or most economical uh, level of sale. And of course, there's many, uh, many up from there. But uh, if this is what you're looking for, guys, inland lake sailing, kind of northern hemisphere stuff, uh, give us a call, click the link below, and we can get you a quote.